Back already, I see. Rose. Brandy. Man, look at you. Still down in the dumps, huh? Oh, I guess old Class Seven's in the same boat. Well, can you blame them? From what Emma's told me, the combined power of the Gnomes and the Blood and Iron Chancellor is completely overwhelming. So much so, that they could bring about the end of the world with ease. That's terrifying to think. <laughs> to top things off, we've got five more Divine Knights besides Valimar running around now. And one of them, that Ebon Knight, Chancellor Osborne is piloting himself. That knight had an aura unlike any of the others. As if it wanted to dominate all it surveyed. Uh, uh. Yeah. Honestly, it... It gave me goosebumps just looking at it. I mean... The other Divine Knights had powerful auras, too. But that one... <clears throat> well, if the Blood and Iron Chancellor's behind the wheel, it's gotta be bad news. Right. There was something else that bothered me. Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall write the end of this wretched fairy tale. In ink, black as despair. Right at the end. The Chancellor called Instructor Reen by his first name. Almost like he knew him well. But when they met in Heimdall, they were much more formal with each other. Last names and all that. Now that you mention it... Huh. That is kind of weird. Hmm? <sighs> Ali? Is there something you're not telling us? Well... <sighs> Ali, please. <sighs> well, you're with the Intelligence Division, right, Altini? You know way more than us about all this. Hmm. Certain things have been nagging at me for a while now. Not just the exchange between the Chancellor and Instructor Reen, but Old Class Seven's behavior as well. And then there's the fact that Instructor Reen is not a Schwarzer by birth. <sighs> huh? Uh, oh, right. I guess I knew he and Elise weren't actually blood-related. Interesting. Hey, hey, whoa! What are you getting at here? As a Vander, I'm privy to certain information that I believe may shine a light on our current situation. Please, hear me out. Fourteen years ago, just before the start of the Hundred Days War, someone attacked the home of the then Brigadier General Osborne. To this day, nobody knows who was responsible nor what motivated them, but... They murdered Osborne's family in their own home. He lost his wife, and, it's said, he lost a son. But the son's remains were never found. Uh. Whoa. So that's how it all connects. But hold on, Kurt. How did you put this all together? It's a technique Instructor Reen taught me called the Unclouded Eye. Letting go of your preconceived notions will let you see the truth. I trust I'm not mistaken? You're right. I received confirmation myself two years ago, during the incident at the Infernal Castle. Though it was only by coincidence, I was there on a mission to capture Duke Cayenne. Instructor Reen and Old Class Seven were shocked to discover the truth. I can imagine. Yeah, no kidding. That'd mess anyone up. But that would explain why Reen and his pals were so dead set on foiling Osborne's schemes. <laughs> Yuna? Are you angry? Yuna, Instructor Reen's birth father, doesn't change who he- Of course I'm angry! How could I not be? Damn it! Why would he keep all that from us? And not just him, either. The rest of Old Class 7 is just as bad. Come on, you two. We're bringing them back here. Now! I'm- No. We're gonna have a few words with them! Yuna- what exactly do you want to say? <laughs> well, that's our uni, I suppose. It seems that for better or worse, nothing keeps her down for long.
Good. That's everyone. Um, Yuna? What is it you wanted to talk to us about? I... kind of get the feeling you're upset with us. Oh, I'm not upset. I'm completely pissed off. Yuna, please. I don't know what you're planning, but try to keep a level. Kurt, Allie, I need both of you to shut it. We just learned the truth about Instructor Reen's father. His birth father, I mean. The Blood and Iron Chancellor, Giliath Osborne. Oh, well... So... you found out, huh? Please, Yuna, don't think any less of Reen. He suffered so much because of Osborne. But he never agreed with the Chancellor's policies, with his unreasonable demands. It's true. For all the pain my brother has caused me, it pales in comparison to what Reen has suffered at the hands of his father. Each mission Reen fulfilled for his father ate away at him piece by piece, but he always retained his sense of what was right. His actions in the Northern War are the perfect example. I get it. I haven't known him for as long as you have. But I know what kind of person he is. And I think there's something that we in the new Class 7 understand even better than you do. That he... That Instructor Reen is still suffering. Even now. <sighs> You're right. We've seen it with our own eyes. We saw the way he fought. The way he gave his all to try and stop the Chancellor. But even then, it wasn't enough. So he chose to put his life on the line to keep us safe. <sighs> it's true. Ali tried to protect him from certain death. But in the end, it was Milliam who paid the price. She became the sword to save all of our lives. The shock and grief sent Instructor Reen into a rage. In trying to avenge Milliam, he ended up triggering the end of the world. And now, his father, Osborne, is trying to use him for something else even beyond all that. I know that right now, Instructor Reen must be blaming himself for everything. For not being able to protect Milliam. For making a mistake that can't be undone. That's why someone... Someone needs to find him, grab him by the collar, and shake him until he snaps out of it! To tell him that he's wrong! That it wasn't his fault! Wasn't that supposed to be your job? You're his friends, aren't you? Uni. <laughs> if you won't do it, then we will, as his students. Instructor Reen has always offered us support when we needed it most. It now falls to us to do the same for him. And I swear I will. Not as a Vander, but as a member of Thor's Branch Campus's Class 7. Instructor Reen has been my mentor, showing me the way. He taught me to think for myself. Gave me the courage to make my own decisions. Helped me figure out who I really am. That's why my decision was an easy one. I'll protect everyone, just like Milliam did. And I will do everything in my power to rescue Instructor Reen, so that I can thank him in person. <laughs> Sheesh, they got us good there. Yep, I agree. They didn't just catch up to us, they blew right past. You can say that again. We came too much earlier than they did, but all we did was mope around. We let our sadness and our fear of what we have to do next paralyze us. How could we? It's so embarrassing. So much for setting an example. <sighs> so that means... Yes, you're all absolutely correct. Protecting everyone, huh? That certainly sounds like Milliam. She's passed the baton to us. Now we must work together to protect what we hold dear. Reen has always devoted himself to helping others. We owe it to him to follow his example. Do you remember what we told Reen and Milliam that day? That we'd work to stop the war on the surface and find out what's happening behind the scenes. 
It's time for us to do just that. And don't forget about Crow. Seems like he's got his memories back. Yeah, we'll get him back on our side even if we gotta beat some sense into him first. <laughs> I like the way you think. It's not going to be easy though, especially with that mobilization law in full effect. True, but we can start by investigating that black pleroma grass that sprang up after the ritual. Looks like all you guys needed was a little kick in the butt and you're back on track. <sighs> I'm glad to hear it. That puts my mind at ease. Yeah. But this is only the beginning. Aside from rescuing Instructor Reen, we've still got to find Muse and Ash. And everyone else from the branch campus too. You're absolutely right. We're going to take everything back. Our instructor. Our entire world. You won't be doing it alone. We'll be there to help you every step of the way. You have our gratitude for bringing us back to our senses. Yeah, thanks. The trial that awaits us will be the ultimate test of Class 7's worth. And that means all of us. There's no difference anymore between old and new Class 7. That's right. Our shared goals have united us. And together, we can overcome any challenge. Right! right. Fourteen twenty hours. We've cleared the third air fleet search radius. Good. Return to alert level two. Now, full rudder starboard. We're headed north northwest. Yes, sir. My, they're all so well trained. Every soldier knows his proper place. I can't help but wonder how the civil war would have turned out if this army of yours had been around back then. I can't imagine it would have changed things in the end. At most, we might have prolonged the war for a year or so. Though if we'd had a more suitable leader, things might have turned out differently. I do believe you're right. Oh please, you're giving me too much credit. It's only thanks to your generous assistance that I even stand aboard this airship. And so you claim, but you're the one who arranged all of this. That's right. The way you see tens of thousands of moves ahead, you could even teach the Blood and Iron Chancellor a thing or two. I imagine you'd make a fine anguish for the society if you were so inclined. <laughs> well, I certainly would enjoy meeting the infamous Grand Master in person. However, in the end, I too failed to stop the Great Twilight. Failing to notice that Ash had taken that gun is one of my greatest regrets. That one mistake was all it took. If only I had seen it, I might have been able to stop him. Perhaps it was simply the will of Adios. Or far more likely, the curse. Yes. It's something powerful enough to completely defy the laws of causality. How impressive that you were able to use that very power to devise a counterattack. Perhaps. But it's an unforgivably cruel plan. No different from taking the entire world hostage. How could I face Instructor Reen or the rest of Class 7 ever again? Putting Schwarzer aside for now, what's become of the members of both Class 7s? They ended up escaping to your village, did they not? I haven't heard anything more than that. Nor have I. At least it seems they made it there safely. Minus Crow and Ash, of course. Though it's hard to say if they'll be able to bounce back after witnessing the worst possible ending firsthand. They're going to be fine. I'm sure of it. 
I believe in Yuna, Kurt, and Altina. They'll inspire the others and shake them out of their despair. Then together, they'll start moving forward. The time I spent with them in class made that more than clear. hidden away somewhere. I got myself into this shit. I'll get myself out. <clears throat> no freaking way. Ah, there you are. Been looking for you. Oh, it's just you guys. <laughs> what do you mean, just you guys? <laughs> You got your memories back then? Huh. So, what's your plan now that shit's about to go down? About that. My contract's up. I'm nobody's pawn anymore. Right now, I'm just the Azure Awakener. And that means I've got my own role to play. At least, for what little time we've got before it's all over. Oh yeah? Huh. <sighs> it's fine, though. Works out well enough for me. Gives me one final shot at getting revenge for my grandfather. But if you're looking for a fight, you better keep walking. That's a damn shame. Well, if the mood strikes you, you know who to call. He never fails to get on my nerves. But you! Why are you so... <laughs> Completely irresistible? Don't tell me you fell for me. Nah, guess not. Your heart already belongs to that master of yours, huh? Unless a certain goody two-shoes went and stole it away. Absolutely not! I swear, why is it that you, McBurn, and that ogre girl all treat me like I'm some love-struck little child? Well, you kinda are. <gasps> Anyway... What exactly do you plan to do about him? Hmm. It's his own problem to deal with. The way he is right now, I don't have it in me to bother with him. Yourself. Uh, 
find them. Nice work. We're lucky you're here. You! You finally got him under control. I'd suggest keeping him like that. Don't worry though, it won't be much longer. <laughs> the rivalries will begin soon. Oh, just shut up! We're not going to be part of your evil scheme! <sighs> you need to beat this. Come on. Think of all the people who are counting on you, waiting for you to snap out of this! Do you hear me? Rain Schwarzer! <laughs> <laughs> 